Hello, welcome to this week's video news. Respect for multiculturalism on March 23, Islamic One Month Fasting Month of Ramadan begins. This year's Ramadan in Taiwan begins on March 23, a month-long Islamic fasting month. Muslims abstain from eating, drinking, from dawn to dusk throughout Ramadan. The fast can be broken with only a little sip of water. April 22 this year is Muslim New Year. It is the most important festival in Muslim countries. Elan Immigration Detention Center also prepared supplies during the fasting period for the Muslim detainees so that the Muslims in the detention center can spend the fasting month with peace of mind. Distribution methods of Taiwan's 6,000 new Taiwan dollars test rebate, universal cash for all. New immigrants and foreigners are included. The distribution for Taiwan's 6,000 new Taiwan dollars tax surplus payment launched on March 22. Foreigners who have achieved permanent status and regularly pay taxes are also entitled to receive it. Therefore, it is not just available for Taiwanese nationals. There are five planned methods, namely registration for deposit, cash collection at ATM, cash collection at post office, direct deposit, and household certificate registration, which are convenient for the public to receive the universal cash. The general public can visit the official website of Taiwan's 6,000 New Taiwan Dollars Universal Cash for All to begin the registration for deposit pre-registration from 8 a.m. March 22. Regular individuals can also use an ATM card and their ID numbers to withdraw money from ATMs. National Immigration Aid the awards winning team of multicultural LOHAS Innovation Action Plan competition program. The National Immigration Agency announced the winner teams of multicultural LOHAS Innovation Action Plan competition program and presented them with prizes on March 18. The select teams, according to the director of National Immigration Agency, included new immigrants, children of new immigrants, foreigners, overseas Chinese students, and Taiwanese nationals. They came from Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Burma, Malaysia, and mainland China. All participants must pass the course's multicultural theory and practice, introduction to ICERD, and scheme design and implementation. Each winning team received a subsidy up to 80,000 New Taiwan dollars. From among them, three outstanding teams were also specifically chosen. And as an added incentive, a bonus of 6,000 New Taiwan dollars was given to each team. Expanded over Stairs Voluntary Departure Program, the NIA Taipei City Service Center has recently assisted self-reported Indonesian couples to return to Indonesia before the start of Ramadan to welcome the birth of a new life. The NIA Miaoli County Service Center recently visited a restaurant run by new immigrants and invited them to propaganda the expanded overstay voluntary departure program. The NIA Taoyuan Service Center recently accepted the case of an elderly Vietnamese woman who overstayed due to visiting relatives. Her daughter and grandson accompanied her to self-report. The NIA Pingtong County Service Center sent a mobile service train to the fishing port of Donggang to propaganda the program to the fishermen on the fishing boats. 